All right, hey guys, Gandalf the Gray here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the issue of JFAC is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. Now, this problem occurs when you are trying to compile the source file of a Java program. So, in accordance with that, you are probably a Java programmer if you run into this issue. Um, now, let's just close that. All right, so first things first, let's make sure you have the um, basics for startup. You need to have the Java JDK 7 for it, and I would recommend with NetBeans. NetBeans is an IDE. I know Eclipse is used by professionals, but NetBeans works okay for casual use. Um, so you could just do that and just spot check it, or you could be hardcore and go to Programs, programs and features to make sure you have the JDK then scroll down and go to and um, check to see if you have the SE development kit 7 if you do you're good so that's the first step now next to make to diagnose the issue and make sure you have the same one as me make sure you're doing it right um, make sure everything's lowercase of course except for the file name you want to change the directory to wherever you have um, the Java source file at. So mine is on my desktop and at Java. And then you want to type in JVAC hello world dot Java. Well, hello world, substitute in whatever the name of your source file is. Mine is hello world, mine is just the classic one. Um, press enter, JVAC is not recognized, blah blah blah, like I said earlier. Um, just if you really want, if you want to see it, it's just simple. Hello world, pretty classic. So it says Hello Mundo in Spanish instead of Hello world. Um, next, you want to close out of that command prompt window. Um, okay, so next step. You want to locate where you have the JVAC file installed at. So mine is under computer on my C hard drive. Mine, I have 64-bit, so it's under program files. If, it's, if you have a 32-bit Java JDK installed, it'll be under program files times 86 there. So you want to just go here, go to Java, go to JDK 1.7, blah, blah, blah. Go to bin. And you want to just copy this. You don't actually want to copy the thing for JVAC itself. So just copy this. Now, the next step is a bit more confusing. You just want to make sure you're careful. It's it's really easy. You just if you don't do it correctly and you accidentally delete extra stuff, you can mess up your computer. So just make sure you're doing it right. Follow these instructions. Go to control panel, go to system and security, go to system, go to advanced system settings, go to environmental variables, and scroll down and then go up a few until you get to the path variable right there. Then you want to click edit this and go all the way to the end um, put a semicolon there and then you just want to copy in the directory for the JVAC program to the bin. Now press OK, 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 exit out this and you before when I said to close the command prompt window, you wanted to make sure you did that. If you have it open, it wouldn't it won't have registered that these changes were made, and it'll still say that JVAC is not recognized. So you wanted to make sure you did that. And um, so yeah. So you want to open up a new command prompt window. Just type in the same stuff as before. Change directory. Oops. Uh, C drive desktop slash Java and now you want to type in JVAC to compile it and now hello world dot Java it'll take a few seconds and it says that now you can type in dir to check that you have it and it should say hello world dot class and hello world dot Java the class file is the one they want to run from. It runs from the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine. So then you type in just Java and then hello world and then press enter and it'll say Alamundo. 
wherever you have it today, probably Hello World. And there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if this video helped you. See you guys next time. My name is Gandalf the Grey.